Have you seen the new H Bust Down music video? Well, I'm breaking down the split screen, so let's get started. Hey guys, if you're new here, my name's Om and I break down VFX shots because here's the secret, guys. They're actually really simple to do. On that note, let's jump into it. Open Premiere Pro and load the footage you want to use. I'm going to use the videos from my weekend when I went out on a canal boat. You'll need three shots that you're going to use for the split screen. Originally, I used this shot where I panned from right to left. But the problem with this is too much dead space, so I changed it up. So let's just fast forward this bit. Now, if you use Premiere Pro, you can keyframe the crop tool in the effects panel to split the shot. However, there's a few restrictions with this tool, such as you're going to have to eyeball the spacing between the video clips. So the best way here would be to go up to either File, New or Windows and select Essential Graphics. On mine, this pops up on the right hand side, so I'm just going to move it to the top left corner here. From here, click on the edit button and click on the only symbol here and select rectangle. It'll automatically drop in a rectangle shape. In this panel, you can automatically change the color, size, rotation, and it'll automatically line it in frame for you to make sure it's dead center. I'm going to set it up. First thing, I'm going to change the color to white and resize the rectangle. Then I'm going to change the rotation to 90 degrees and have it come in from the right hand side of the screen to split the shot up. Once I'm happy with this, in the timeline, you can see that it's placed the graphics layer in, which I'm going to move into place. Okay, last thing to do here is click on the stopwatch button of the properties panel and animate the graphics coming in and out with the video clip. I'm having an issue here with the white blending into the sky, so I'm going to change the color to black. Brill. Okay, now you can see I've changed the video that had a lot of dead space and I'm happy with it. I can now add the third video clip, but this time I want it to come from the top left down. As I film this in portrait on my phone, so I need to increase the size and place the crop tool in and crop out parts of the video I don't want to see. Then, like before, animate it coming in and out of frame. Perfect. Now, I just need to duplicate the graphics layer using Alt, click and drag. Move this layer into place and animate it coming in with the video. And you're done. As always, smash that like button. Let me know if you like this video. Hit the subscribe button and help me get to 15k, guys. And most importantly, stay inspired.